Welcome back guys. It's been a while I made a video. So today we're in um, White Cough, New Jersey in a parking lot. So the customers complain that all these parking lot lights are going out. So we got a new solution. We're gonna replace it with all new LED. Does not need any ballast. So there we are. These are uh, LED 45 watt, 100 K. 1000 K, I'm sorry. Okay. So, got the bucket truck here. And I'm gonna show you how to replace it. Very simple. I mean, they should have came out with these long time ago. So, the first thing we gotta do, we gotta put on our harness. Alright, so a little harness, a little tricky to put in. I've been doing it for a while. Put the little two loops. In the bucket truck, get your little hook. Sorry for the movement. Step up there. Now right, we're going up. So you got up, you got the boom, you got the rotation. You go up. Everyone up. So we're gonna be changing. This one to LED, even though it does work, we're still gonna replace all of them with new LEDs. All right, let's get a little closer. We're gonna be removing the ballast in there too. We don't need that. I am doing it live, um, it's always good to turn the power off. But to me, I always find it easier. I know I have to go back to the breaker and turn it on. So you know we are pretty high, just got to be careful, that's why we got the harness. So now what we're going to do is we're going to loosen this, this screw here, and that's going to bring down the fixture down, okay? Now these screws sometimes are a little, you know, a little hard to get out because they've been sitting in the rain and the snow, so they might be a little tight. So right now, it's not, it's not budging, we got to put some W40. All right, so we were finally able to take the screw. Let me tell you, this screw was very difficult to come out. You know, I had to use the uh, adjustable wrench. But what happens is, you know, the, the screw and the weather just oxidates the screw. So it was very, uh, very difficult, but I was able to take it off. Um, so now, so what you see here now is, you see, the old bulb, this is, a, this is a 175 metal highlight, okay, with a ballast. Okay, so the ballast is the one at the bottom. Okay, so what we're going to do first is cut the power off. So the two powers are the ones on the top. So what I like to do is I usually like to just cut one wire. Okay, and just put a little cap on it. Safety it, safety it off. This is live. And then I cut the other one. Right. Okay, so what I'm gonna start doing is removing all this. This is this is garbage. We'll remove the ballast that's in here. We don't need that no more. I'm trying to clean it up. So what we're gonna do is take the two wires that are from the socket, which are gonna be I tell you which one. These two wires. So once you take out these two wires, then each wire is gonna hook up to one of the each terminal here. Okay. Uh, these lights are 240. Lights are 240. These lights work on 120, 
to 277. So either of those voltage, it will work on the socket. So you pretty much just removing the ballast and we're just making the socket straight power. And just like a regular bulb, you screw it in. And like I said, the ballast is built into the socket. I mean, built into the socket of the light fixture, which is LED. So there's no more like maintenance. You come, hey, it doesn't work. If it doesn't work, it's automatically, we're just changing the LED. And that's it. There's no changing the ballast. There's no more going up in a bucket and going, and going crazy. This is supposed to last, let's say 20 years, you know. Times on you know depends on the hour they use it um, so obviously the bulbs are a little bit more money but in the long run you know it pay itself because now you're not you're not paying me come up here every every two years you're changing bowels and bulbs all right so let's get let's, let's start hooking this all right so this is the LED bulb all right this is a mobile base socket Okay, it's not a medium base, it's a mobile base. And it's pretty much, it's gonna go right into this socket. And the wires in the socket goes up. Now, if the wire doesn't reach, okay, you have to use high temperature wire. You can't use just any uh, regular wire. What happens the wire will burn in time. So you have to make sure you use high temperature wire to extend it. All right, so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna screw it in. Alright, so there you have it. Lit up. And we do just lift up the cover. Get my little Allen key. Screw it up and then that's it. Thank you for watching. Any questions? Give me a comment. Give me a like, please. And thanks for watching.